Researchers at Nottingham Trent University have identified a promising natural molecule as a potential first-line effective treatment for prostate cancer. The molecule in question is carnosine, which can be produced in the body and is also found in meat. In laboratory experiments, the scientists tested carnosine against both primary and metastatic prostate cancer cells. Where the cancer originated and spread to other parts of the body, they discovered that carnosine prevented the cells from multiplying, moreover. At higher doses, it effectively killed both primary and metastatic cancer cells, or remaining safe for healthy cells. This finding suggests that carnosine could be a promising and safe option for treating prostate cancer. Offering new possibilities for cancer therapy. More information in the link in description. In a recent study published in the journal Nutrients, the powerful impact of saffron on prostate cancer was revealed. The researchers carried out in vitro analyzes on prostate cancer cells treated with saffron to evaluate its effect on the intermediates of prostate carcinogenesis in the United States. Prostate tumors cause considerable mortality in men, although androgen receptor antagonists are essential in the treatment of advanced prostate cancer. Some develop castration resistance, Underscoring the need for alternative therapies, saffron, a spicy and flavoring ingredient, has demonstrated anti-cancer activity in various malignant diseases. Studies have reported the anti-cancer effects of saffron on aggressive xenografts derived from prostate cancer cells in mice. More information in the link in description. Prostostrine a groundbreaking prostate health supplement has shown promising effects in recent studies conducted over the past two years. Led by experts like Dr. John Smith, these studies revealed significant improvements in prostate health, including reduced size and improved urinary function. However, uncertainties persist due to the limited duration of research and variations in individual responses. Dr. Emily Johnson emphasizes the need for comprehensive, long-term studies considering diverse factors. While the supplement's ingredients suggest potential mechanisms targeting inflammation and hormonal imbalances, further investigation is crucial. Caution is advised in recommending prostostrine as a standard preventive measure until more extensive research establishes its long-term efficacy and safety. With individuals urged to prioritize conventional preventive measures for prostate health, more information in the link in description.